There they are. <laughs> there we are. Hi. How are we today on our feed? We're seeing ya. Right on. A couple minutes early too. We did it. We had Matt. Figuring out that we're doing? figuring it out. We're getting it. So this is uh, Hello. Cindy. Hello. Hey, welcoming everybody to uh, our first Create Change live stream of the year with our special guest stars, Nathan and Kyler. You, Hi guys. You're the star. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> Hello. And Angelo's on and Deb is on as well, but we want to have Nathan and Kyler on as much of the screen as, pop, as possible. So um, we figure we just start while we're waiting for everybody to log in, maybe to take a couple questions for Nathan and Kyler, and then we're going to turn it over to them and let them be the stars of the show. So any questions you guys want to ask? Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of names we know. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of names. Hi, guys. This is so guess So yeah. as everybody's dealing with their um, coronavirus grow out, uh, it's interesting. Um, it's been fun trying to figure out what to do with this and figure out what my actual hair color is. That's been fun. <laughs> it's so, not gray, I can tell you that much. Well, it's like a, it's like a dark ashy blonde um, that's growing in that's here. My color. <laughs> yeah. It, it's you know, it's it's up here. I'm like reverse Hollywood where I have light roots and dark hair. So I just like to be anti anti uh, anti-regular. Now that makes it sound like I'm constipated. Um, <laughs> I, wow. uh, you mean, well, I know some folks are asking, a lot of them are asking, how you guys are doing with the quarantine? How are you and your family doing? You know what? There's no other way to say it. I, I mean, I feel like, you know, we're taking it in stride. It's, it's obviously not easy. Um, but, you know, we're trying to make the best of every moment and every day and you know I was telling Kyler had a lot of great talks so we were able to get back to our place uh, you know in Tennessee which is nice and um, you know we're fortunate because we you know have a little bit of land here and stuff so we can run around you know we got a little golf cart we can take around and stuff so it's, it's just kind of nice to you know have that obviously which is a luxury for you know uh, a, it would be a luxury for a lot of people so you know we feel for everyone and uh, we're here for you and want you to know that, uh, you know, you just kind of take every day in stride and one day at a time is the best way to kind of go about it. You want to add to that? Ditto. Ditto. No, it's been nice. It's been, it's been, um, it's been a huge blessing just to, you know, for work schedule. I mean, obviously for, for obvious reasons, things shutting down, it's a, the best choice that we could have made, you know, country to country and across the world, but it's definitely um, changed the pace. And it took, I know for me personally, has taken some time to kind of figure out a groove and not feel like I'm kind of scattered. So it goes through a bit of anxiety, but at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, that gratitude rises above everything else because we're all healthy, thankfully, and you know, everybody's together and I'm homeschooling. <laughs> Good job. Awesome. Um, I think I'm handling it pretty well. Actually. She's actually doing um, amazing. She's an amazing teacher. So yeah. Um, and, so and it's been fun taking advantage of the time and and being grateful and, and staying healthy and yeah. being mindful and obviously respectful of everybody else out there. Uh, you know, not going out and doing joy rides or anything like that. Just, you know, getting out when we need to for the essentials and stuff. But, you know, we're standing along with all of you um, and everybody that's part of the Create Change team just to like, hey, we're going to do our part so that we can get through this. So, yeah. um, and that's the most important thing. So, other is, come on, come say hi. You can just pop your head and we'll get you <laughs> say over here. Hey. So you have to kind of come way over. You might have to... There you go. There you go. Hey, oh, she's climbing in. There you go. <laughs> Back rub, Mom. Back rub. Family <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, so we're, we're just staying committed to that, you know, and, and yeah, I know, getting there. Oh. Go ahead. You say No, it. no, you do it. No, I talk too much. Everyone knows that. No, no, no. It gave us a good, um, uh, the chief was over here holding up the sign saying, garden. 
so it gave us an opportunity with this time off and we've had some really beautiful weather uh, to start a garden, which um, was, I'm really sore. Um, I didn't, I, I kind of underestimated the work that it takes to plant potatoes. That's takes a lot of work for that, but it's cool because we started, we sowed something and now we're going to get to be able to watch it grow and bloom. And, uh, the kids have been a part of the process too. And it's definitely been a special thing. So, uh, maybe we'll take pictures when things start to sprout and kind of, uh, you guys can see our progress. Um, if they sprout, if not, we're gonna need a bunch of fake plants. It's gonna look yeah. awesome. We're gonna plant we're them gonna and sit. We'll hold you to that. Yes, we'll get want to see outdoor creativity because that's what we're all about here is creating. So that's awesome. That's yeah. right. So and I think the girls have that little shopping cart with all the little plastic, you know, vegetables oh, yeah. and fruit. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Just bury them halfway in the soil. Yeah. I mean, look, a banana. What? what? They grow in the garden. <laughs> I know. I it was so cute. Coconuts grow from the ground. So weird. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah. One other question, uh -huh. Nathan. I know that's coming up a few times here. Is there any new music coming? There is. In fact, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I had a plan to put out a bunch of new music that we had um, previously done this this uh, last year, and um, it's it was just I can't explain to you how much I feel like I've been chasing that production and trying to make things work and, and, you know, everything's done in the studio, but it was about mixing everything. And I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of got to a point where I was like, you know what, maybe sometimes when you're pushing on things to make them happen and you're trying to force it, there's a reason for whatever, you know, it may be, if there's a reason that it's not kind of working. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back to, you know, um, basically back to the beginning here and I will be, you know, releasing those songs at some point, but I thought, you know what, because everything going on, I want to start this thing called the writer's room and have the creative process and share what I'm working on and start working on some new songs while I try to still get those other ones done. So um thought it'd be kind of fun and, and more of a communal approach, you know, family approach. It'd just be fun to, to let them hear what I'm working on and, and um, you know, new ideas and get their opinions and stuff on it as we go, you know. Great. That's very great. So, you know, uh, one of the other questions that we get periodically is because we just keep getting new members is um, if you could just tell us what motivated you to start Create Change. Do you want to take that one? You're much better at articulating that one. You know, it's uh, it always comes back to creativity for me. Um, you know, creativity is, is, a lot of people say that they don't have creativity, but I always, you know, I'm a firm believer. If you've ever, uh, you know, solved a problem in your life, you have creativity. And, you know, I think when you, we kind of live outside the box with our creativity and everything. And I think looking at life from different perspectives is really important. And, you know, really honing into your creative, you know, mind is, is the best way to solve issues, looking at it from different perspectives. And so, you know, we just kind of wanted to celebrate the idea of creativity as a tool that can be used on the daily to be able to give back. And that, you know, solve some of the world's problems, you know, the bigger problems out there. Um, it frustrates me to think that I know it's a big world, a big, big world. But it frustrates me to think that we can't just even solve world hunger. We can't solve, you know, other issues going on, human trafficking. And, and I mean, obviously, all the different diseases, cancers, all that stuff, you know, or equality, which is such a huge thing, for great change. So we wanted to create a platform and truly where we could grow a community that can come together, you know, and throw around these ideas and, you know, help each of you grow individually um, to become the best person you can on the planet so that you can give back from a place of, of like standing tall and being full of life and full of love and, and being able to do that from uh, that, that uh, perspective. And I think it would be infectious to see that the whole world come together you know, using our creativity to, to lead the way and help people. So, you know, we wanted something inspirational and encouraging, 
Yeah. And, you know, with you guys being a part of this, we've been able to do that, and it's only going to get better. We have really put our ducks in a row, and um, I'm excited. we got some new things coming up, a new website. We're doing a whole brand uh, rebrand. Super, of, super, super cool. Yeah. So that's coming up as well. Angela's probably going, ooh, don't bring that up yet. But <laughs> that'll be coming. Uh, I won't say when, but it's coming soon. I will tell you that much. So. Oh, Tyler, I love your shirt. Oh, this whole thing? Oh, that's true. And you want to talk a little bit about that because people are asking where they can get some of that. Yes. So, obviously, with everything going on, you know, with, with, with this COVID-19 and everything, um, you know, we went to launch our store and, you know, it was kind of a bad time for that considering everything going on, um, which was really at the precipice of that whole thing really kind of flaring up and beginning. And so, uh, we held off on... on launching the store because the people that do the production of our shirts and everything like that had to shut down all of their major facilities to do the production. And so we've been kind of waiting and they're starting to roll things out again. But, but first and foremost, we want to make sure that all those people were safe, you know, and, and, and healthy. And uh, so we've kind of been waiting, but we're starting to get some things. We order stuff too, to make sure that process for you is smooth. So not just the designs are amazing, but that the, you know, from the checkout to all the way to delivery is amazing as well. And um, they're just starting to ramp up production again. So I, I would say, you know, somewhere around that, that mid-May, uh, you know, I would think at the latest we'll be able to, to launch the store finally. And, you know, we also want to be, you know, courteous. Of, obviously, a lot of us are out of work or different things like that. And, and so we don't want to be like, hey, here, come buy all this stuff, you know. Um, although I would say it's an essential need, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. This, this, the shop will be launching within, you know, pretty much less than a month. And uh, we're really excited. We've got some really cool things. Um, we, we got, uh, Angela's going to kill me again for this, but we have some Easter Eli's, some new designs, are incredible, some amazing great change, you know, designs and stuff. And then we're currently working Oh. on the C. Lee collection. So it'll be her own stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, nice. Angelo. Sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. Wish we could play that song. Oof. Yeah, so did that answer everything for you guys on the on the storefront? I think so. You've got some happy campers here, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love these comments I'm looking at. They're hilarious. Angela put a bunch of cats on there. He did. Right. Yeah, people want to know where Link is. Oh, he's around. Uh, I can go find him. And I want to say hi to Lisa real quick. So Lisa Chandler, who is my stunt double, who is like the most amazing stunt double on the planet. Um, I know you're on here, Lisa. I saw you. And there's so many of my, my our amazing friends on here. I see you guys. But um, I saw you, Lisa. And so I just want to shout out a few guys. She's fantastic. Lisa Chandler, you should look her up and see all the cool stuff she does. Love you. Okay, she's coming back. She's, I guess, getting the cat. So. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're getting a lot of I miss you. So, I can hear the cat. So, so Nathan, would you, a uh, little plug, talk a little bit about the Here For You campaign? And Yes. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. I would have totally forgot. But, uh, yes, so, you know, the reason we're doing this today is because we've been so inspired by the submissions that we've gotten, um, you know, the call for entries for the Sheer For You campaign, um, which as things have been going through with the challenges we're all facing, you know, globally has kind of morphed a little bit. Um, I know like, you know, every commercial on TV right now is here for you, here for you, we're here for you, you know, buy our car, buy this, whatever. And I, I get that and, and I can appreciate where they're coming from. Um, but we really, just wanted to kindly, you know, kind of simply say, we're here for you, that you're not alone in this. Because I know even the term social distancing um, is, is really uh, interesting because if you think about it, we're more connected globally now than ever before. And so it's really not social distancing, it's physical distancing, which I love that we're starting to use that term. And I would hope that you all would, you know, start using that term as well, because I think it's important from a mental health aspect that people know that it's not like you, you have to go bury yourself in a cave, you know, and stay away from everybody. You know, there's still ways to communicate and for us to lift each other up. And so the Cure For You, you know, campaign 
um, is still running, and but we do have a final submission date, uh, which is this Friday, uh, April 25th, that if you want to get something in, something creative um, to, you know, share how you're coping with this, uh, you know, the challenges we're facing on the daily, or if you have some wisdom to, to share, or just some love or some creativity, and, you know, whether it's art, an essay, a song, we got a song, it's incredible, um, and, uh, you know, or memes and gifts and everything else, I mean, doesn't matter you can bring it forth and uh you know send that to where, where are we send that cindy what's the i know they can go, go on to, the yeah you just if you log on go on to our website log on uh to create change.me it's that simple and then slash submission and you can just go into citizen creator and send it that way and yeah we can and also it would be important to note that you know you do have to uh, be a member in mm -hmm. order to uh, like a basic member again that's free so, you know, if you want to share something with uh, our community and stuff and through our social media channels, we'd love to be a part of that and we'd love to, you know, invite you to be a part of that. So um, that's Absolutely. definitely, yeah, a huge part of where we're going with the Great Change community is, you know, we've built this up to inspire and encourage you for you to do the same. And so it's going to be a lot more driven on based off the community as we move forward into the summer months. So. I'm going to shut up so we can bring this little guy in. <laughs> Look, buddy. There he is. You see me. You see yourself? Hi, Gemma. Look. Hey, buddy. You say hi, huh? No, you say, I'm so handsome. You have to pay to see me. Pay to see my face. Oh, there he is. Yay. Cover everything on that. I think okay, so. Good. Thank you very much. Yeah, we Final definitely would love to see those submissions. So please do send them in. We'll, we'll get some on social media, and then um, Angelo's going to do his magic work, and we'll get some up on the website, too, when it's all done. So we'd love to hear from people. Yeah, and, and the fact that, again, well, just to reiterate, like we're just so inspired by you know, the, the entries that we have received. That's why we want to have more come in, because yeah. we're going to curate those and utilize those you know, through article stuff and through social media as well. Um, but it's, we wanted to do our part by coming on and, and playing a little song. It, you, you'd be amazed at how much that, you know, that creativity that you have, um, it goes a long way and helps a lot of people. So I'm enjoying everything, too, that our team is doing and that all of you, our community, is being a part of with these uh, to-do lists on Tuesday and, you know, the Feel yeah, Good Friday. Been it has been a lot of fun. we got a really cool one tomorrow, so we won't get into that yet, but it's going to be super cool. Make sure you tune in and you're a part of that. Um, you know, make sure you follow us and make all your friends follow us on, on, this is not a plug. This is just because I want you guys to enjoy the fun that we're about to have starting tomorrow. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you do it. Any That's questions for Tyler? Because I feel like all I'm, I'm just talking like, you know, way too much. Hey. Happy belated, Tyler. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That was great. I had a wonderful birthday. Um, it was it just spending time, you know, with the family. My my handsome husband here did an amazing job. It's such awesome gifts from the whole family. But you know, more than more than anything, uh, just really precious time together. And uh, um, yeah, so all the birthday wishes. Thank you so much. And just saying it in person, uh, the sleigh day. Um, uh, I can't think of the word. Uh, playlist was happy just Slated. so yes. Happy Slay Day playlist was. They were so much fun um, to listen to, and we were bopping all around. And the kids too, and he and I were singing to each other a lot of what? times. They were uh, saying that we were really gross because we were dancing together. What do you mean? Why? Well, like ha why we use Happy Slay Day as opposed to Happy Birthday? That's a good question. He said it to me, and I can't think of it. Now you put me on the spot. Well, you are always saying, because we don't really, you know, birthdays come around, and, it, you know, at this point, if it's not the kids or someone, you know, like family or something for us, we're always kind of like, ah, oh, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. And so we come up with this idea that, you know what, maybe if I don't call it a birthday, she'll enjoy it more, um, you know, because she's just, she's, you're amazing and you just don't want to focus on you, but we want to celebrate as you all do too. And so I went to Slay Day because also when you get a little older, I'm not saying that we're old, I'm, I'm old. I was 29 but again. Yes. Yeah, I had that on the birthday cake. It said, it didn't say happy birthday. It said, 29 again, exclamation points. 
Every but, year. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, as you get older, too, it's like every time you get to your birthday, it's always like, okay, another birthday, another yeah. year. And so, you know, we just started calling them Happy Sleigh Days because, you know what, it's about celebrating you and having fun and don't worry about how old yeah. you are. You don't sing the second part of that song. How old are you now? <laughs> like, no. We kiss 29 again. I mean, you could do that, I guess. That, that would work. Uh, I saw you on here, Dean. And he said, what where's the castle? Where's the <laughs> castle, Dean, Dean? Dean, this is kind of an insider joke. But, Dean, you know where the castle is. I don't know that we'll ever make it there again. And I don't remember where it was. But... It was halfway we between. Survived. We were we were driving to Prague. Yeah. It, yeah. It was on the way. It was awesome. We made our way to it. Or it was, were we driving to Austria? I, I can't remember. No, we were over by Budapest. Remember? Yeah. We were like around. I I failed Br geography. Bruno and, or something like that. Or? Yeah. I, I don't know, but we found the yeah, castle. So yeah. That's us bleeping ourselves because yeah. that's what we were like. I was joking as we were driving. Spent with hours, and he's like, it's hours. right here. And I was like, where's the castle, castle Dean? Dean? And everybody just yeah. started saying it. So, so it was, yeah. Yes. Anyways. A little trivia fact. There is actually a castle that was built here in 1987 yeah. in just outside of Nashville. Like what literally, and that? it's where they do the Renaissance Fair every year. Of course, they can't do it this year. But I didn't know we had a castle out here. I thought that's super cool. Some dude lives in it. So here's the castle, Dean. There's a castle here, Dean. You can come find it with us. Yeah. Well, I so. just want you guys to know I'm seeing people from Europe and Mexico and uh, South America. There's yeah. other, you know, countries represented too. Um, but I just think that is so awesome that you have brought so many people together and in such a meaningful way. So I know they want to hear you sing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We'll do that. We're going to, I think, I was going to play uh, Nothing Ordinary to Start, but I don't know that I haven't picked up my guitar here in a bit. So I, I know, think... we were practicing yesterday, and I was like, ooh, it's been a minute. Yeah. So I've been <laughs> he, he got, he's had some time to go out and play in front of everybody, and, and it's been a minute for me, so you might have to just give me a little bit of grace here to, um, I don't get any. La, 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 no, no, la, 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 you know, that kind of to get myself ready. You want to go through one? No, no, you're fine. <laughs> my mommy, baby, that's playing the names on a Monday morning. Ooh, ah. My mommy, baby, that's playing the names on a Monday morning. Ooh, ah. My mommy, baby, that's playing the names on a Monday morning. Ooh, ah. There you go. There we go. It's like show tune. It's ready to go. Yeah. 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 Well, before I get into it, I know, you can see, did your heart start racing? Yeah, okay. coming. Yeah, so I'm going to give it a second. We're just warming up here. Um, the reason we chose Nowhere is because, you know, when I wrote that, that song, um, it was really about the fact that Kyle and I were always kind of like, you know, she's working, I'm working, we don't see each other a lot. You know, a lot of you know that. And so the whole idea was like, when I was thinking of her, she was thinking of me. At least that's what I wanted to believe. And a lot of times that actually happened. I would, I would like, you know, I think of her and she texts me or vice versa. And so I would, really wanted to capture that in a song, uh, which we did with Nowhere. And uh, originally it was going to be me singing to her. And with that beautiful angelic voice, I was like, we got to do this where you sing on it too. Yes. And so we decided, you know, today it's part of our Motivation Monday here on Create Change that we would sing it to you, that we are thinking of, when you're thinking of us, you know we're thinking of you, and that we are always here for you. Great change is always here for you, and, you know, we're going to continue to walk this through hand in hand. So, don't this up. Okay. All right. I said that to you, watch. I won't, I'll forget the first line. Yeah, okay, you will. Okay, got it. Okay.
when the earth begins to break and I'll fall in the depths take my time and I cannot find my way when I'm buried underneath oh I look to you oh hold on to you you remind me of love when it's nowhere to be found, you remind me of true love. When it's nowhere, all the wounds they lay amongst them, and the scars they tell the story of who I used to be. My hands begin to shake and tremble from my attack. Can't escape when they remain. You remind me of true love when there's nowhere to be found. You remind me of true love when there's nowhere. You remind me of true love when there's nowhere to be found. You remind me of true love. Give it all, give it all, give it all, my love. I'm giving all, I'm giving all, I'm giving all, I'm giving all, giving all, giving all, giving all, giving all, giving all, my love. Text it. When the earth begins to break, you remind me of true love when it's nowhere to be found. You remind me of true love when it's nowhere to be found. You remind me of when there's no way, give it all, give it all. When there's no way to be found, I'm giving all, giving all. When there's no way, give it all, give it all. When there's no way to be found, I'm giving all, giving all. When there's no way. That was a there beautiful one. If I didn't have to hold the phone, I would be clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You made a lot of people very, very happy there. Yes. Where are all my, my peeps at that are golf clubs? Come on. I know you're on there. We did that in in, uh, in Madrid. We actually did it a couple times. It was the first place we did it was in Madrid on tour, and it was unbelievable. We had so much fun. It was only like thirty people, and it was fantastic. And but the people that were running the venue were like, "What are they? What are they doing?" Because I'd finished the song instead of clapping and hollering, we just decided we'd do golf claps. So it was just like this. So I know for you out there, little shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, should I do one more? I don't know. I felt like that went really well. Yeah. You guys want one, one more, even if I mess it up? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you sing Red Red Dog? Oh, that's not as fun. You should play the guitar. Do you guys want her to sing Red Red Robin? Look, I got that's not as fun. Five, one more. And you got yes. One See, more. But there you go. I'm sorry. Go S4 for it. Is for oh, come on. Is for oh, and come on. Annie's going to kill me if she hears it. Just me. do it. Okay, I hope she's not listening. Annie says it's her song. Well, and then so say it's for you. Say it really loud. She's moody, man. <laughs> Annie, this is for you. <laughs> okay, 
Go ahead. Oh, when the red, red robin comes ba ba bobbing along, along, there'll be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing that old sweet song. Singing, wake up, wake up, you sleepy head, get up, get up, get out of bed, cheer up, she's hearing, cheer up, the sun is red, live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I've been blue, now I'm walking through fields of flowers. The rain may glisten and still I'll listen for hours and hours. Oh, I'm just a kid again doing what I did again, singing the song. When the red, red robin comes ba -ba bobbing along. Oh, what? What? Never mind. That's okay. What? That's easy. Yeah. I know. I know. She sang it for you. That's why I did it really loud. Give your mom a hug and then you say bye. Oh. She had a little bit of a rough day, as we all do, but that's okay. We're working through it. Yeah. Here. So what we're doing is, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. And we'll come back to, why don't you do that? I'll, oh, that we have enough time? I'll see if I can throw down one more. I feel like I'm going to mess this up, but. The song kind of just seems fitting, if you ask me. There are times when town is lost, hearts grow cold, forever stop. When all those tears we cry, well, there's one. There are times when town stands still, hope sustains, and love rebuilds. When all those tears, it's nothing ordinary, so, so temporary. Yet, this journey of you and I is full of life. Whoa, 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 whoa. We try hard to let them go. We learn to lose control. Things they will find. It's nothing ordinary about this life. There are times that make us who we are, that shape our hearts. Pain our scars, but all those tears we cry, well, they can fade love. It's nothing ordinary, it's also temporary. Yeah, this journey of you and I. Remember. It's full of light. Whoa, oh, whoa, it shines. Whoa, oh, whoa, we fight. The art of letting go. When we learn to lose control, then we will find there's nothing ordinary. There's nothing ordinary. There's nothing. Oh, it's fine. The art of 
let him go. When we learn to lose control, then we will find Keep your head up, keep going strong, find the silver lining, and be full of gratitude because that's how we get through this. And together, we can do this. Together, we will get through this. We'll see brighter days. Day by day, it's getting better. So I know a lot of you are going through different challenges right now, but please, please, please hold on to that message. There is nothing ordinary in this life. So the best we can do, you can't always control what happens to you, what the world throws at you, but you can't control how you respond. And what we're doing as a community right now is asking you to respond with that hope, some wisdom for others, that we can lean on one another as a community and come together. And more importantly than anything else is that you know you're in love. I'm going to totally start crying. And that we are here for you always, always. You are not alone. All right. We're going to call it because I need tissues. But <laughs> hey, we will do this again very soon. You know, yeah. and if you guys want this on the weekly, we will do it on the weekly. Um, just because we, we want you to know we are, we mean it when we say it, we are here for you. We love you all. And, uh, you know, invite more people that might need it into, you know, the Create Change family. Because, yeah. you know, we want to reach as many people. It's not about the numbers. It is about you. But, you know what, if someone needs help and you just lead them on to, you know, our socials and check things out. Be a part of this big family that's growing daily. So, yeah.